Okay, well, as my um, the title of this video says, uh, I'm going to do a little, like, I guess, uh, pergola reveal. Not that it's, the pergola itself is finished, but everything else that we want to do for this area is not finished. We have to take that in stages because, you know, we're middle class. We're not rich, you know, so we've taken care of this part. We do have a little bit money left. Uh, for new furniture and some other things that we're going to be um, adding to this space to turn it into a much nicer um, outdoor living area, outdoor kitchen. That's my dream and I did say I wanted to uh, provide that update. Uh, oh, by the way, thank you for stopping by. Welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe. And let me get everything. I've got my camera facing it, so that's what you're going to see. There we go. My shed, there's old Clem in the corner. And my begonias, and I'll circle around my parsley still. There's the, the trellising that we did. I'll come over here. My husband, uh, fantastic, was able to complete this in six days. So we do need to get one more piece right here of this trellising for that to be complete and we'll be getting that some at some point he did want to just put it where it was most needed for our little jasmine here and there's a lot of you can see buds that are getting ready she's going to go for another bloom here pretty soon she did experience a little bit of trauma because we had to cut away some things uh, in order to make room at the hostas, I mean, everything is coming up. We have a mixture of wildflowers and hostas back here. These three guys are coming back. This is ground cover that we planted because we wanted a mixture to have an organic feel, but also have some things that we have put down. There's my oregano. My thyme is flowering. This is the German thyme. And this is lemon thyme. It smells so wonderful. And those are my tiger lilies. They're coming up very nice. Parsley has just exploded. And now flower bed. We come around to the ta-da pergola. These curtains were so necessary. We had some regular house curtains that were uh, for blocking the light. Hung a little bit lower, but it, it just did not look right at all. They were hung up through those loops hung up through those loops with um, rope and so they just kind of drooped in the middle and plus the, there was about three feet of space to the bottom didn't work well so with that uh, we just got these in yesterday we ordered these they come all the way down and they're very beautiful let me go ahead and open one for you so you can see they do billow out. They're very pretty. This is a Egyptian sea foam, I think. We are going to get two more panels because we want a fuller look. And so I'm because of the wind blowing like crazy, I'm going to secure this back. And I'm going to make some nice tie backs. But I love the space. I love how it looks. We've eaten dinner out here a couple of times with company. And it is just beautiful. We, we went for the open trellising look because we are in coastal Virginia and we do have hurricanes and nor'easters blow through quite often and so with this being attached to the house the concern was a closed roof may create resistance that high winds would actually damage the house if it pulled away so this we saw in doing my husband is wonderful at investigating things he did all of this himself I helped carry some stuff we are going to build up in this space here, this space right here. We are going to build up with stone, probably stonework like this. There's going to be countertops and things here and a grill here. So we, we're planning to have two grills at some point in this spot here. In this area here, we plan to have more countertops Sorry, that's the neighbor's dog. Um, a refrigerator and a sink that'll be in close proximity to this so that we can, you know, while we're, it'll probably be in the space in front of this door here. So this furniture is 
going to be gone. We're going to have more lounging kind of couches, you know, a sectional kind of seating out here for that and possibly some in other areas. But I'm really enjoying that we are ordering. We have two more panels on order. So that'll be a nice fuller. Our afternoon sun, when it comes in, it comes in right through there and you are blinded by the light sitting in this spot. It becomes very uncomfortable. And of course, that's when we all want to sit out here because it's right around dinner time, you know, 4.35, 5.15. And so it's, it's impossible to sit out here when that sun is blaring in through. So the curtains are vital for this space. But anyway, that is the catch up on all this. We do have a little bit of a fire pit. We turned it upside down because we've had some rain and we don't want rain collecting in that. But there's a nice little space here for us to just have a little fire pit and know the baby would not be sitting that close to a fire pit. Just got put there. We have to clean this off because uh, it's near the trees and the birds have made a few deposits as you can see on some things. <laughs> But anyway, that is the catch-up on the pergola. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks again for spending a little time with me today. I hope this is inspiring you to get out and, and kind of update your, your space outside. You're in an area where it's really nice. I mean, we're in the spring, early summer. Well, still spring, coming up on summer soon. It's a nice way to gather. Even if you have a small space, you can do something that is uh, makes it more welcoming and more inviting. Thanks again for spending some time. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye until next time.